SGC here, and we're back for comics time. Pres number three, enjoyed. Because, I mean, now that she's president, things are going. She's, like, filling up her staff in different ways. Totally not what they expected. Also, I really enjoyed the narrative in the sense where we know her, and also we have this, and we also have this reoccurring debate thing that's happening on TV with those candidates. And we see how crazy and messed up the society is now. Because the guy who's always losing seems to be like addressing something. And then he's okay. And then the other guy just blows him out of the water. This time around we get a sort of everyday life of a dude. He has it really harsh. And it's just like this extreme of how the rich people are super rich and crazy and nuts. And then we have this like poor guy who's just trying to get by. And all smack in the middle is this whole presidency thing. So narratives are pretty great. I really love the characters. I really love the character designs. The artwork is fun. And just how the paneling is done as well. I enjoy it. The dialogue is great too. I enjoy it. So can't wait for the next issue. Next up is Mantle number five, the last issue. It was a great ending. I'm sad that it went because I was really hoping for more. But, you know, sales didn't work and talked to Bryson and it's just too bad because I really was enjoying the storyline and finally I mean we have another superhero book on image line because Invincible has been invincible on the superhero front on image so it's nice to see this I sort of wish there was more fleshing out in terms of the characters it was just fun I mean it was a great issue to end it off and all but I sort of wish there was more I mean I I'm totally out for mantle second arc definitely so if you haven't checked out manto check it out it's another good spin on the whole superhero genre and i don't know the art is great brian level's art is great and the designs are cool and and just like it, it's it's just a real take on how people would view superheroes if they were because it's like damn it damn it i'm a superhero i gotta do all this stuff and I got this crazy threat and I love it. And the twist happens here and there is awesome stuff. So if you haven't checked out Manto, do check it out. Ed Bryson puts out really great stuff. Check his all his books out, really. I really love his stuff. So anyway, goodbye, Manto. It was a great run. Hope to see you next time. Dare Not Like Us number eight. First panel on the cover. Remember this time. It was a good issue. I mean, there was a lot of talking involved. It was fine, though, because, I mean, it just felt organic and... The stuff that they're dealing with, it seems like it's just crazy. And and last issue, I thought it was going to be a mess in terms of just like, oh my goodness, this guy shows up. But he's just like understanding and it's just great. And it's like, it seems like finally something bigger than them is going their way. And I really enjoy that. And it's just more questions, more ideas. And it's just like, great, things are going well. And, you know, people are happy sort of thing. And, and it's like... You know, they had expectations of this guy, but he's totally not what they seems, and it's positive. So I enjoyed that. Can't wait for the next issue. So the Infinite Loop number six, I think this is the last issue, because it seems like a big, ended off with a huge bang sort of thing, and it was crazy. A lot of stuff happening in this issue, a lot of like time traveling, and it was just great. A lot of fun, just really fun concept. I mean, I really enjoy the ending. The last issue was kind of iffy. I felt like this could have been a five issue thing. This could have been issue five, really, and sped up a lot. I think last issue was kind of draggy. But overall, enjoy the concept. Crazy stuff. A lot of sci-fi issues. A lot of sci-fi-ness, and it was enjoyed it. So I think this is the last issue. Probably is. So enjoyed it. Thank you for this team. From Under Mountains number one, interesting concept. Voodoo magic, craziness, just this world building. And I'm thinking it is eight house sort of thing. So it's interesting to see this side of the world as well. And it's just like, I don't know, it, 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 it's an interesting world, and it's just like, where are they going? I mean, it's, it's just like all these demon things, and it's just like pretty intense. Colors are really vibrant, I really enjoyed that. And the art is kind of not amazingly sort of my style, but I appreciate the change in a sense, sort of. I sort of wish it was not as sketchy or just maybe a little more realistically drawn. It is kind of rough, in my opinion. I mean, compared to Marion Churchline's cover, the inside is different. But I really enjoyed the story. And yeah, can't wait for the next issue. Rick and Morty number six. <laughs> Love it. It's like an episode again from the series. And season three, I can't wait for you. But anyway... It's another play on the thing that happened, actually, in an episode. It's like a brief thing. Loved it. The gore, the storyline, everything. Art, craziness, craziness, and enjoyed it. Loved it. Check it out. 
and I can't wait for the next issue. So there you have it. It was a short week. Great for my wallet. Anyway, I hope you like what you got because it's your money. And yeah, as always, leave a comment down below if you have anything to recommend or comment or what have you. Anyway, that is all for this week's Comic Stand. Out!